but let's go ahead and get started so I can get through this and maybe play some video games. So, second box. We went through the first one during our uh, weekly dinner lunch thing that we do. Our first box was pretty much bad. I haven't watched many box opening videos, but uh, I could at least, I feel like ours wasn't that good. So no invocations, none of the chase cards, no 10,000 dragon, no utopia. Uh, not a lot of Numeron spell cards that we're looking for so we can play with them. Maybe this box will be a little bit different. So we got 24 packs. We all know the left side's the best side, but we're going to start with the right hand side. Now my focus might not work too well because I was messing around with my camera. So uh, it's probably going to be pretty terrible. And we are going to slow roll every single pack. Don't want you to see till I see it. Hey, thanks for hosting. I wasn't really ready for, uh, I was just doing this for a couple of folks. So, Appliancer, Electrical World, Obedient Schooled. Let's see if I can get this in the right light for you. Can't read it, though. Really small words. Call on Toast. A Numeron Wall, so we did need another one of these. And then Fossil Dragon Skull Gear is our secret rare for the pack. I don't think we opened that one during our lunch. Oh god, that focus is terrible. Oh well. <laughs> well, I really didn't want to stream anything with my camera going in and out like it is. Uh, bad quality is still bad quality, but we'll get through it together. So, appliance or copy buckle. Black Whirlwind. Go Yo Guardian. Book of the Moon, and the secret rare is Dark Spell Regeneration. So I didn't see that one either. So at least we're seeing different cards this time around than we did during lunch. Hold on for a second for me. I'm going to see if I can alter this just a little bit. So I'm going to go in and change the autofocus, take it off, kind of like this, so I think we'll go with it. So should be a lot better now. So moving on to pack number three. No autofocus, feeling good. Did I just take the back and to put it to the front? I'm going to do it wrong. Appliancer Reuse. Appliancer Laundry Dragon. Topological Zero Boros, Kaoki Miru Drago, and the secret rare is Fossil Warrior Skull King. So we got both the fossils in our first three packs. It's pretty neat. It's a shame Anthony's not watching because then I could do this. Shut up. No, I'm just kidding. It looks pretty cool. I have no idea what it does. Pack number five. Oh, shoot. I messed it up. I see you seeing it. Anyway, so we have a time stream for our secret rare here. Looks pretty cool. Appliance or socket roll. Super all in. Appliance or vacuum fent. And then appliance or breaker bunkle, which I don't think I've seen one of these yet. <laughs> so we'll try not to mess that up in the future. Rolling number five. I haven't streamed in like two weeks. Salomon Great Gazelle. Appliance or Kappa Scale. Galaxy Worm. Invoked Purgatrio. A secret rare version. This looks really good. And. Ah, oh, the wrong Utopic. Number FO Utopic Future Slash is the secret rare for that one. Close. We were in the right color scheme there. Right name. The only problem was I could read it. 
Number six, of the inferior right hand side of the box. Brotherhood of Fire Fist, Lion Emperor, Psychic Wave, Penguin Torpedo. What a cute little guy. Number two, Numeron Gate Dive. And number C92, Heart Earth Chaos Dragon is our secret rare for this pack. Couple more to go for this side. Get that nice crunchy noise in there. Everybody loves that. Necroz of Gungnir. Assault Blackwing, Sohaya the Rainstorm. Appliance or Test. Fire Flint Lady. I know that uh, some of you out there needed this. And Numeron Calling. So we certainly needed this one for our Numerons. Makes number two all together, I think, or one. Man, look at that card. This card's like $11. Good thing we opened it here. How goes it in... Um, how goes it in affiliate land there? Gilly. All right. Keep on trucking. So Steam Seam <laughs> Steam Synchron. Invoked Elysium. Appliancer Seletopus. So it's a uh, octopus made from kind of looks like sockets. <laughs> Mecha Phantom Beast Olan and Armored White Bear is our secret rare. So every card in this, there's only five cards per pack. Uh, so every pack, basically every card in this set is either going to be ultra rare, um, the two special rarities that they have, or it's going to be the secret rare. So there's a secret rare at the front of every pack. And it's just the way that the, the box is. So basically, uh, all of these cards except for one are technically a reprint. So the only one that's not a reprint is one of the special cards, uh, the 10,000 Dragon. I think the other special card already exists as a card. It's just um, an alternate artwork, and I could be wrong. So, Dragon Buster Destruction Sword, not saying that name. Look at all those letters. Secure Gardena, Junk Anchor, little action pose, and Weathering Soldier. Unfortunately, I don't think anything in this set is named like Cauldron of the Old Man or something I can send to our dear friend Anthony uh, so he can start his Yu-Gi-Oh! collection. I know he already has Squeak Knights and he has Cauldrons. I want to know what we're going to give him next. So, number three, Kakaida King. So that should give us uh, each one there. Goyo Defender. Roz, why am I putting them up there? Come on, guys. Don't let me do that. Roz Disciple. Flower Cardian Cherry Blossom. And Chimera Tech Mega Fleet Dragon, which is a, a card that you use if you have Cyber Dragons, apparently. Don't know how to bring it to the field, but we can always read later. Film now, read later. I wish so most of the most of the phrasing on these cards kind of like magic it's not as easy as saying well, this creature has flying but basically it is kind of how that is it's just there's no evergreen words for it all right appliance to reuse four mud skipper frog afterglow boost warrior and Fossil Warrior Skullbone. So now we have all three of the Fossil Fusions. Look at this guy. I'm pretty sure this last pack is going to be the Fossil Fusion card. Ha! 
I have a feeling this game's kind of easy to play. I'm sure um, with the extra decks and stuff and your special summon decks that it gets a little bit more complicated and is more which line of play you take based. Solomon Great Gazelle. Elemental Hero Neo Alias. Tiny, tiny elemental hero here. Appliancer Dryer Drake. So if Anthony was to play any deck, I think it would be Appliancers because it seems just the amount of ridiculousness to get him to do something. Elemental Hero, Shining Flare, Wingman, and another Armored White Bear. So that is it for our right-hand side. Um, we certainly got the Numeron Calling, right? Is that what that one was? Yep, Numeron Calling. A whole bunch of other cards. So now on to the Superior left hand side so this is going to be the last pack for the box I'm just going to sit that up here maybe i won't need it maybe we'll hit before we get there all right so front to back so no cheating intruder alarm yellow alert i hadn't seen that one today elemental heroes is the uh the second deck i wanted to make because it's very uh reminiscent of the show and uh, unfortunately, to make it very, very playable, it has some uh, expensive cards in it. Hormud Skipper, Invoke Kaliga, Solomon Great, Sunlight Wolf, and High Rate Draw. High Rate Draw. I play Duel Links a little bit. I like the mode where you can have them just play it for you so you can kind of watch what happens. Same principle as Arena tapping your lands for you. It works out most of the time. And sometimes you're like, why did I do that? Now I can't do this. Uh, number one, Numeron Gate. Obedient Schooled. Junk Anchor. Topological Zero Boros. And then, of course, Glacial Beast. Iceberg Narwhal is the secret rare for that pack. Of course, if you're just dropping by and you've never uh, watched one of my videos, this isn't normally how we do it for box openings. We're doing this one because um, just the way we have our Yu-Gi-Oh stuff set up. So feel free to hit that follow button or a like button. Follow me on YouTube. I try to do a box opening every week and post it there on YouTube. So, Appliance Sir Copy Buckle. Number three, Numeron Gate. Trini. Goyo Guardian. Penguin Torpedo. And another number C92, Heart Earth Chaos Dragon for a secret rare. Uh, you're only buffering because the cards are so shiny. It's just overloading the computer. Or, anti or it's just trying to get it all done so when I pull that 10,000 dragon, uh, you'll be able to see it very clearly. All right. So Dragon Buster, Destruction Sword, Intruder Alarm, Yellow Alert number two for the box. Kaoki, Mirror, Drago, yeah, Drago, jeez. Raw's Disciple and Powered Crawler. Huh. I hadn't seen this one yet. It's like a... Well, I guess it's a tank. Machine effect creature. Elemental Hero Neo Alias. Number three, Kakaida King. Appliancer Driver Drake. Salomon Great Sunlight Wolf. And number C1, Numeros. Numeron, Chaos Gate, Sunya. So are there two number ones? Or is this the only number one? Huh. So I guess number two, three, and four come in as your normal common rarity here. So the chat's saying there is a C1 and a number one. Do you need both of them to play the combo? I assume so. Oh, one too many. Okay. Just 
134. Black Whirlwind, second for the box. Necroz of Gungnir, another Kalantos. Number S39, Utopia the Lightning. And our secret rare is hey, a Judgment of the Dragon of Heaven. So we hadn't opened this card yet. It's one of the dragons on the front cover of the box. I don't know if they're on top of the pack. Yep, there they are. They're on top of the packs. It's pretty cool. We didn't have one of these yet. Super All In. Not saying that name. Afterglow. Appliancer's Lotopus. And Artifact Ignition is a secret rare. Kind of looks like a, uh, a Pokemon energy, like a special metal energy called Artifact Energy. So we have five packs left for the box. I don't know the values of these cards, it doesn't matter. I just know what the two big hits are. And I know that we're going to pull one. Invoked Elysium. Goyo Defender. Another Fire Flint Lady. So it gives us three all together. Appliancer Breaker Bunkle. And another Danger Jackalope. So first one for this box. This card was like $26 before. But even with its reprint that it had in one of the um, extra subsets. I'm pretty sure it was a three of in the decks I was played in. Oh, one too many. All right, so Artifact Sanctum. Haven't seen that one for this box opening yet. Elemental Hero Chaos Neos. Good old cross sheep. Flower, Cardian, Cherry Blossom, and the Secret Rare is another Numeron Calling. So I know there's another Numeron spell that we need to play the combo outside Numeron Calling. I don't know if one of them is three of, but eh, I'm pretty sure having extras of these is just fine if I don't need three of them. Three packs to go. Ooh. Video has to catch up with me. Appliance or socket roll? Psychic wave. Elemental hero, shining flare, wingman. Number two, Numeron gate. And Medulce and jelly. I said that right. I heard this car also was expensive before it reprints. So, two packs left. Invoked Radigen. Ragin? I think I added an extra vowel there. Alistair. Alistair the Invoker and One Wind Monster. Okay. Assault Blackwing. Blackwing Chris of the Crack of Dawn. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Appliancer Test and Numeron Network. Okay, so this was the other Numeron card we were looking for. So, Man, doesn't that shine? It's probably three of each of the Numeron spells, three of the walls, and at least one of each. One through four in our side deck. All right, so last pack. What could it be? No disappointment, only positivity. Front to back, feels different. I know it's different. Melphic, Pergium, Drag, I cannot say that. But this dragon that we haven't opened yet. Numeron number one. Numeron number four. Invoke Purgatrio. Come on, 10,000 dragon. Elemental hero, Escordate. Escurido. 
Theo Dio. That name. So we hadn't opened up one of these yet. First one I had seen. Ah, we were so close. So close. So no invocations. I know we were looking for those as well. Um, we did get a couple of the networks and the callings. Uh, we got a whole bunch of the one through fours that were in these common slots. So I don't know if this was a good box or a bad box. I'm thinking it was just an okay one. I'm not sure what we're looking for here outside of the big hits. But hopefully you enjoyed watching. Um, yeah, that's all I got for today. That box that 24 packs didn't take too long. And uh, thanks, Gilly, for hosting me. I appreciate it. I wasn't going to be on here long. I just want to jump in, open this stuff, hit the record button, and let you see it. So until next week, thanks for watching.